being asked seven times, can you give us this information? And you're just shaking your head like, oh my gosh, this is a seven. I mean, for a chronic condition, you may have given this information 15 times and here you are giving it again. And, and they ask you, do you have your medical record and you can't get access to it? And so the vision here is a vision where people have access to their medical record. The providers have access to their medical record. Individuals and providers have access to uh, pricing and procedure costs and we are informed and we are communicating. So that's from the individual side. I'm, I'm curious as you hear some of those things, does that resonate with you in terms of where we want to go and where we could go from an interoperability standpoint from a patient side? So it's, it's more than a one, it's an absolute need. We have to go there. I tell this story often within close friends, close circles. My, my wife and I built a home a couple of years ago, right before we go into closing, there was an error in the closing and I coincidentally was on the golf course when the wife said, you shouldn't be golfing this day because we're going to have the closing. You never know what's going to happen. And of course, something happened. But the cool thing was to my phone, I was able to get a digitized packet, if you would, where I was able to digitally sign and keep everything going. So we closed that day. The wife was not upset at me and all was well. In healthcare, you could have two healthcare entities right next to each other and not be able to share information. And that just doesn't make sense. And so I, I clown around within the circle of friends that were probably about 10 years behind. On the financial side, you can see, I mean, with your ATM card or your phone, you can access your financial information anywhere in the world. But yet in healthcare, we can't do that. 